Это онлайнс. That's a bit better. Let's clear it off. So, hello, 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 even. And welcome to episode 200 of Progru. And I should be talking about. Oh, I should be talking about this little beauty. Oh. Um, many of you have been begging for me to talk about these box sets for a long time, so the next few episodes of Prog Review I shall be talking about the Genesis box sets. Oh yes, so enjoy them. Indeed enjoy them. I was so out of practice I forgot to uh, record a link, but here we are, let's have a look at the old box set. Oh, it's all green. And we're under the desk. That's where we, that's where we do these now, under my desk. And as you can see, it's got Genesis on all sides, just so you know that it's by that there, Genesis. I open it up, and inside are the CDs. Oh yeah, there are the albums, all there for you. And again, I think these, whoops, <laughs> oh, out of practice. Um, these um, were available uh, singularly, um, in the UK anyway, I know that. I'm not sure about anywhere else in the world, but... The SACD slash DVD version was available singularly, so you didn't have to buy the box set. And uh, oh, there we go. You can see there's the the CD. There's that, and there's a little panel from the actual album for you. So it's all there, and they've even mimicked the original Pink Charisma label to make you feel like you're buying something of historical value. Yes, indeed. And this is Traspas. The, the, like the first official, yeah, we we know they did from Genesis to Revelation, but we don't talk about that because of Jonathan King, you know, the convicted paedophile. We don't talk about that. Jonathan King giving them the name Genesis. He, he also named 10CC, but we don't talk about that because he's a convicted pedo. And we don't mention... No, I'm not even going to do that joke, just in case any Who fans are, are watching. Oh, oh, God, I've mentioned the Who. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Anyway, it's all there, and they've re-jiggered the... Um, the artwork, I don't know if you've noticed um, all the artwork's been restored there's not been too many uh, liberties done um, the very first lot of these CDs back in the back in the 80s were an absolute pig's ear, they were an abortion of a design job with grey borders and oh, bits missing but they've done a good job reproducing the, the artwork so you know, it's as good as you're going to get for a jewel case um, release and uh, there we go. So there we go. That's that. Do, 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 do. But yeah, so they've done a they've done a nice job, you know, with the borders and everything. And they've also with the new information about the remastering, they've they've done that in the style of of the original artwork, which I think is a nice touch. You know, they could have just done a like a separate panel, but they've integrated it into the album which is good and uh, next one up is that there Foxtrot from the 1972 and there is a fox on the rocks and uh, again we've it's a yeah, bit boring that panel I could have done something with that but <laughs> they all follow the same the same design thing again everything's been reproduced and emulated from the originals uh, at least you can read the lyrics this time, not too small. And um, so, yeah, like I say, it's it's fairly authentic. Without getting like the um, Japanese mini LP style versions, this is you know, this is a good compromise. Let's put it back in. Da, da, da. It's good being under the desk. I feel safe under my desk. <laughs> I really ought to really ought to get uh, you know really get more organised. Um, yeah, so this is uh, this is something on by the pound, and again, oh, that's that's uh, an interesting image of the band. I don't think that was included in the original album artwork, but I took a little bit of a liberty there. But you've got this lovely brown. Look at that lovely br the seventies brown. What colour represents the nineteen seventies better than brown? Brown. It was either brown or garish Technicolor. That's how I remember it. And um, so now let's put that back in there. <laughs> oh dear, laughing at my own jokes. This is what you want. 
I'm worried my legs are going to go to sleep. I'm sitting cross-legged here, you know. I'm 42. I should, I should be sitting down comfortably with my pipe and slippers. Anyway, this is the lamb, and they've done it completely different. They've done it in a kind of a digi book style case, which is. Oh, you don't want to see that one. That's a bootleg. You don't want to see that. Um, and these are a bit. They're a bit fiddly to get in and out. I, I must admit. But you get the, the again. The artwork is faithfully reproduced. Again, you feel like the the lambs are special album because they've they have done a, a special job with the with the packaging. And again, it's all you know good cardstock. Um, the, the the print work is fantastic, you know it feels really a quality release. And again, for I, I think I paid for all this for about seventy nine pounds. I got the receipt in the box when it came out. And when you think about what you get in the box and the quality of the the reissues, it just comes across to me anyway is incredibly good value uh, for money. Um, I was talking to this to the missus today about you know if I when I first got this when I was about fourteen or fifteen the lamb I'm talking I, I bought it on cassette and if Darren from the future had arrived so well one day it'll be on DVD well what's a DVD uh, and it'll be in surround well, what's surround sound and, and there'll be the slides from the concert what they did they had slides at a concert I can't even imagine um, you know describing it to my my teenage self but. Um, it's bloody, it's bloody good stuff. And this is the special extra tracks booklet thingy. As you can see, the CD is designed so it merges into the background like a, a chameleon. And there's a lovely picture of the band there. When they're all young, hirsute young men, full of vim and vigour. And uh, don't, don't they make you feel proud to be British? Uh, remember what I said about British prog? Yeah, 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 you with me now? You with me? Yeah. And um, yeah, this contains um, some essays and some nice pictures and that. I mean, the essays ain't up to much. It's just various celebrities talking with fondness about the albums. Uh, no great uh, revelations held within, but it's nice, you know. It's nice stuff, and it's good. Some of the some of the pictures that are used, I'd, I'd not seen before. Well, I'd seen that one before, but um, you know, it's you know, it's a nice little booklet to to go with it. Um, and you also get the extra tracks on CD, and there's also the surround sound mix of those extra tracks, including the uh, Genesis Plays Jackson four tracks there, which they did in 1969-70, depending on where you read it. Um, again, these things are they've been you know, it, it, that, that was lost, that was considered lost, and, and now it's found. So it's it's good to have have these pieces, and um, and there's a little there's a little bit there from Pig Haber we're talking about. The Jackson material, and and there you go. So that's what you get inside the box. Obviously, if you haven't got one, do try and track it down. I think they're still available. And um, it is just you know, no Genesis fan should be without it. Back to the fat idiot. Now I'm going to start with 1970 to 1975. We'll get the rating out of the way. Five out of five. They're all five out of five. So. Everyone coming for a rating, every single box set that I shall be looking at from this Genesis period, five out of five, we're done. Got out of the way. Yeah. Out of the way. Now, if 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 progressive rock was um if if progressive rock was a was um I don't know a marriage you know, I I'd be in bed with, with Genesis on this side. And, and and King Crimson on this side. I'll be in the middle, right? Yeah. And you know, when when I when I wanted a, a nice cuddle, I'd go I'd go to Genesis. All right, love. All right, yeah. And when I wanted all that dark, weird, kinky shit, I'd go with King Crimson. That's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. I love Genesis and I love King Crimson. Roughly equally, they're my two picks. And um, this box set. I mean, let's again. There's a lot of people out there go oh, the remixes because there's this is a stereo box set of stereo. You got stereo remixes and the surround sound. Um, uh, Nick Davis went through it under the the eye of Tony Banks and the rest of the band. Everyone had to give approval. The stereo remixes are fantastic. If anybody out there says to you, oh, they've ruined it, uh, yeah, 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 just kick them in the balls. Kick them in the balls and walk on because they're assholes. I remember when these came out, um, Francis Dunnery, 
of It Bites wrote this this amazing blog piece. I wish I could find it, where he accused Genesis of ruining his childhood and you know, oh, they've ruined everything with these remixes, compression, it's too loud. Oh being a right old woman about it and um well it's just an arsehole isn't it really um again if you don't like these remixes you've got the old ones to fall back on okay so let's get back um each of the cds are lovingly restored all the artworks lovingly restored uh the previous generation of um of CD, of the dual case CD ones that they messed, the very first lot, oh, the artwork was completely, was completely messed up. They oh, made a right bodge job of it. You know, and the audio was a bit bad. Um, there was some remasters from the late 90s, which are, are quite nice. I mean, I got the, like the mini LP um, version. I've got a whole set of those. I'll show you those after all of this. Uh, and they're a good alternative if you don't like the new remixes and that they're the ones to they're the, the second ones to get but you know i really like these remasters I, I really do like them i mean i like the old ones too i mean i can i can swap between email but what i like here is they've it's like they've cleaned a layer of grime off off the, the mixes you get extra detail you know little bits of hidden stuff okay in some instances, they take they take liberties. You know, there are different vocal takes are used um, from Peter Gabriel, um, notably on "Selling England by the Pound." Um, the opening track, I think, they use a different take, and that some of the 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 effects are different. Again, I think back in the seventies, some of the audio effects on the guitars and the vocals were processed externally and then fed into the master tape and so how are they going to recreate that they have to go back and you know somehow recreate it they're not going to get it done perfectly if it's not on the on the master tape if it's not on the, the original mix tape um then you know they're gonna to have to take liberties with it and come up with something else um again you know the old the old mixes are, are fine but these there's a lot more space in them a lot more separation with the instruments you get you just get so much more detail it's unbelievable i think this is why um, a lot of people are turned off by them because if you listen to my headphones they do sound like a completely new album and uh, that's a good thing <laughs> that's a good thing isn't it you want to hear the best version the best version you can get so again all the albums i mean trespass again that really did need it um uh, nursery crime uh, with with that one it kind of shows that you know there's a little bit i always found um nursery crime a little bit empty in places in in the, in the mix if you know what i mean it lacks something and you kind of get the feeling there that there's um a little bit missing yeah, again it's just a personal thing um foxtrot sounds great uh did a good job of um Supper's ready again. Supper's ready. Some of the, the the effects when they do the panning, it's a little bit off kilter, but uh, I can I can live with it. I can live with it. I'm not gonna throw my toys out of the out of the pram. Uh, selling them by the pound again. That was another album that ne that needed a, a blooming good scene too because you know the the one of its well, the I remember the old CD version of it. And that was absolutely appalling. And the lamb, well, the lamb just comes alive again. I mean, there is an album that is packed full of detail, and there's lots of new little bits to pick up on the stereo spectrum. So you got all that to contend with, but then if you've got a surround sound um, player and a DVD, they come with a DVD as well because this box set is SACD and DVD. Um, the SACD has a stereo layer and um, uh, the uh, surround layer but if you haven't got an SCD player you can watch and listen to the, the email uh, busy uh, you can watch the DVD and so you get the whole album in surround sound now, it was these remixes these remixes that turned me on to surround sound mixing before that I'd seen surround sound as rather gimmicky because you know they had things whizzing around and all, you know. Whereas Nick Davis had approached it, you know, 
just in, again allowing the, the the listener to be in the middle of everything and you know all the instruments are separated and you you can hear all the detail and so hearing these these surround sound mixes turned me on to the whole 5.1 thing so they're that good um you also get interviews with the band talking about that period which are superb you know worth admission alone and you get um extra video material you know the band playing live you know of those various clips you've seen on youtube they're all on this box set you know what more could you want that's why you know when anyone brings out a box set these are the you know this is what you judge it against you judge it against the these sets and um you know i can't see any fault with it there is no fault uh, my absolute favourite thing, though, is the what they did for The Lamb Lies Down on Broadway. Uh, I've talked about this before, but um, instead of it just being like the album sleeve on the screen whilst you listen to the surround mix, they went through all the slides that they used on the live uh, show and digitised them, and they put them on the screen, so they move in sync with the music. So it's like watching a little movie fantastic it's almost like being there it's the next best thing to actually seeing the lamb in concert and it makes for a very interesting experience listening and visual experience so and also what you get is an extra disc as well there's always an extra disc of supplementary material uh you get happy the man twilight Alehouse, house uh, bbc night ride sessions and the jackson uh jackson period uh, demos where they they run out Fountain of Samosis in a very early version Nursery Crime uh, Nursery Crime what I'm saying Musical Box from Nursery Crime and Anyway I think it's Anyway from The Lamb and they did that all back in 1969 so that's an interesting extra and what you also get in the set is a, is a big booklet as well um, full of essays from such notable people as Tony Robinson, Baldrick from Blackadder, um, he talks about the lamb. Jeremy Clarkson from Top Gear talks about, talks about Southern England by the pound. Uh, Roger Taylor from Queen, who could have been a Genesis drummer. Just think, in an alternative universe, Roger Taylor is playing drums with Genesis. And he talks about Foxtrot. And, oh, oh I'm trying to read this as we go along. David Baddiel. He's a comedian, trust me. He talks about the other one. He, t <laughs> he talks about nursery crime. And finally, Richard McFarl, who's a friend of the band, talks about their very first album, Trespass. And it's all in a lovely little booklet there for you to read. Hardback as well. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it truly is a, a thing to behold. And they're all, they all follow the same format. In fact, this, this box set was the last one to come out when it was released. Uh, when it was released, it was the last of the... Let's get this right. It was, the, it was the last of the three studio album box sets to be released. Sorry for the edit, the battery ran out. Um, it, all, it all makes sense when I edit it back together again. Um, so, yeah, this was the last one. And when it came out, my cataclysm happened and um, I was transient between many different properties and I didn't actually get to sit down and listen to this for a good while after its release and um, you know, I had to set up my surround sound speakers. Actually, if you go to my blog, it's probably about, I don't know, December 20... No, not don't like yeah, two thousand December two thousand and eight, I should imagine, was when I first got the chance to sit down and listen to this in surround sound. Um, but yeah, so great box sets, and I shall be doing the others soon. Again, my name's been Darren Locke. I've been talking about Genesis 1970, 1975 box sets, green one. You shouldn't be without it. You got to get a copy. You know, you've really got to, um, you know, get your own own copy of it. And uh, and that's it, really. Only one more thing to say, and that is prog on. And I shall be doing the next box set soon. Be off with you.